rising from the ashes. Bay Nerf returns for one night only. I got one night only, one night only. All of our splendor for his glory. God, that was... Hallelujah. The two subs that are left are like... <laughs> I remember why I unsubbed to you guys. <laughs> and we're done. Oh, uh, yo, people. What's cracking? Yo, you bet you didn't think you was going to see us. Actually, you know what's weird? I, they've been we seeing you. Yeah, hold up. <laughs> they, they've been seeing you. They've been seeing me, except for I recorded them like a month ago, so my beer's like twice. Yo, I'm I, doing my best foam brewer right here. Like, mm, I didn't die. Much. You didn't. I just things. Ha- no, I ain't making no excuses. I ain't. Nah. T- I got sick of doing YouTube videos with this mother, with this, with this mickle fickle. The uh, DPG mickle fickle. PG. Um. Oh man. Yeah. All right. So yo, we we want We're gonna make this quick and dirty, like my underwear and my. I there's no way I can keep that clean. So we'll just 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 run that, slash that, chop it, cut it, and flip it. You ain't gonna do all that, are you? You're not even gonna edit it, are you? You're just gonna let it roll. Okay. Probably. <laughs> Whatever, I'm off my game, ladies and gentlemen. But the Phoenix. <laughs> Anyways, why are we here, yo? We are here to review. That's right. Um, hold up. Hold up. Oh sh. Move okay. over, Hasbro. You're about to be a has been. Oh God. So yes. much hype. Oh God. I feel mm. it's like Paul Bearers coming <laughs> back from the grave. Cause today we about to check out the nefarious Nerf Killer. Oh God. I'm oh. sorry. I started this. That's I'm so right. scared of you. <laughs> Yo, uh, so what's you gotta the respect the recoil because now the world is game, baby. <laughs> oh god, yo, he ain't, he, he ain't lying though. So if you haven't figured it out, this review is about recoil. The world is now game. Now you may be saying to yourself, but YouTube channel that hasn't posted a video with these two knuckleheads together in a long time. Why, so what? Everyone else is putting a review on this. That's true. But, to my knowledge, which is not vast and wide, but it's my knowledge, we are one of the few, maybe the only, unsolicited review. Everything you see in today's review, we paid for out of our own hard-earned monies. That's right. So, we. Uh, it's the way a funny thing happened. Um, yes. Joshua has been super busy, and um, you know the Nerf game has got him a little down in the dumps recently. Uh, adminning by himself has turned him. It's turned Ooh. into a little of a nightmare. So he'd take a little break ski, right? A little, little tiny break this year. So a little, lot of off season. I was but moving, you know, stuff happens. In the meantime, in between time, I heard about this recoil thing, mm-hmm. unbeknownst to me. Mm-hmm. So had he? I did. I called him up. I said, "Listen, man, I didn't want to tell you this, but I'm thinking I I, I'm, I ordered some recoil stuff." He was like, "You did that without telling me." I was, I was, I was a little offended. He was a little upset. A little offended. So I don't remember if this is pre you joining, if this is unbeknownst to you, but I done bought every LTX, every LTR, every laser tag system. I remember seeing that sadness in your prior closet. to this, trying to get people to subscribe. Like, let's do this. We gonna do some laser tag as well as Nerf. Ain't nobody bought any of them nobody. except for myself. Nobody. I had two of every blaster. And it was like Noah's Ark of Laser Tag. To be honest with you, to be brutally honest, I wouldn't have bought it either. Yeah, no. Because Laser Tag had fallen behind the times to the gr- glorious form, foam warfare. It's true. It's true. Right? Because Laser Tag has got to do something special to replace the physical characteristics that Nerf brings to the table. And Nerf has evolved so much in the last four or oh five years. Goodness, ridiculous. A podcast many, many, many long time ago might have predicted. The future of Nerf through 3D printing. I don't know who that podcast was. Nerfcast. Uh, I don't know who that fat man was. <clears throat> but it happened, and we're here, and we're in that era, right? People are making True. money. It's Nerf true. is thriving. Yeah. People 3D are printing making, blasters, People man. are making their own motors. Ooh, it's like, crazy. It's cracking. It's crazy. In the meantime, though, that's come with some downsides. It's hard to control the games to the point where we like them, yeah. where it's really fair and balanced, and it's new person friendly. So that's my biggest thing. I wanna, I wanna start this off with when we started doing Nerf. We really wanted it to be something you could go to Toys R Us, you could pick up a blaster, and you would still be competitive. Like you wasn't gonna have the best blaster on the field by any means, but you weren't gonna be so dramatically outclassed 
that you just couldn't even compete. True. Right? I mean, yeah, hold on. I mean, we're not talking rocking a jolt here, but if you got a regular blaster, you should be all right. You be straight. Right. You, you, you can play. Be straight, you you be can play. You ain't going to dominate, but you're going to play. Right. You be solid. You would still be an asset to team. Right. That's not That's not going down no more. Whoo, yeah, that's like rough. It used to be. It's not like, and listen, that's the evolution of the hobby, and that is okay, and it's awesome. I mean, the hobby has grown so and much. And your mileage may vary. I mean, you might get, you might have a lot of more stock stuff. We are seeing just a crazy influx of, you know, yeah. insane blasters, which is awesome, but it is very it's hard. hard. To manage, it's right? very hard he's to manage. He's a one-man admin. I don't admin games, so he's a one-man admin, and I don't want to because I don't really like people that much, and I will yell at people. It's true. I already yell at people enough for the both he of us. He yells at people, and, you know, I'll slide somebody. Mm-hmm. You so I think I'm nice on this podcast, but anyways, wow. so that led us to me calling him saying, yo, I got this recoil on order. Yep. Then target messed up the, the hurricane or the hurricane thing happened in Texas. It was coming from there. My yep. order got canceled in the meantime, though, Josh, my, my counterpart got real excited, got himself a starter kit. We brought it to the Ooh. house at my house. We're in Josh's house. Now Josh yes. got a new house. It's like a mansion. Um, it's like an apartment, man. It's an apartment. It's, it's oh yeah, house. hold on. But we got six people living here. Don't get it. Don't get yeah, it twisted. Yeah, don't see only. The, don't man, get it twisted. The no, okay. They, no, you you, they think you're rich. Let them think that. Don't let them think that. <laughs> so anyway, um, we played with it at my house, messed around. We were like, "Yo, this I might can, have some legs." I can get it. This is I. Brought it out today. Had a couple more people that had never messed with it. Went and played a quick two on two. Right, because we're like, hold on, we've been doing some stuff for a minute. Right. Maybe we're just willing. To we, do to go to extra mile for some of maybe this stuff. we're so a little down on the nerf scene that we're, right. we're like in our brains we're like maybe we're making too much out of this thing. Right, like, let's let so we pull some people in that are just like that are casual nerfs but at best casual. Yes, one of them barely plays the other one doesn't. One play has it. been like two three games. Right. The other one's been to couple like, games season. Yeah, right, but Maybe casual so. definitely casual hobby. Super casual, no modder. And we played, man. We played for about thirty minutes. Yeah, yo, everybody had a good time. Money, everybody money. had a good time. So, um, this will be the beginning of we'll, we'll put it to pull the products out and you know, do that real quick. You know, but we just want to let you know this is this is not I'm not I'm not here saying Nerf is dead. It's not dead. Nerf, no, no, Nerf's and we ain't dead here yet. Yeah, but yeah. we that was just funny funny intro. It was a funny intro. Some people are talking about a lot of websites have reported like sure. move over Nerf. Right, and that's Laser how it is here, and it's cool Needs because competition. they can totally coexist. coexist. Yeah, they are totally different beasts. There's things totally that you beasts. can do in Nerf you'll never be able to do in this, and there's things you can do in this that are just really almost impossible to do in they're real they're real depends on how you play right and what kind of people you are now i know i've because i've read about like places that do larps and stuff but with nerf weapons sure right you can do a little bit more of this stuff in that sort of setting right. but for most people who just want to come run and gun yeah. you can't do you the play things video, that this you offers you want to play a video game this is this is pretty legit this is so it. this is it we're gonna pull out some things here this is the recoil pistol um, there's a bunch of reviews on these, so if you've seen Jangular's review, he told you we was coming with this. Um, he, you know, went over everything. But it's your basic pistol, this right here. But tell y'all, this is so my this is the truth right my here. My job, I work. Truth. In, I work in telecommunications business. I've been slanging phones for God, 15 years. Yeah. And phone holding is like the like man that makes me nervous. Anytime I want to put my phone in something, I'm nervous. Yo, this thing is legit. It's I'm not solid. saying your phone will never break. You drop the whole thing, that might happen. Yeah. This holder, this thing is legit. Manu Super legit. Manual screw, not spring loaded. Spring sometimes yeah. does not work work so good. Um, fits. I put an iPhone seven in. We put a Samsung seven. We we put a bunch yeah. of like five six different phones. Like we yeah, we've been hard pressed to find a phone that don't fit in here. Right. It's nice. So, it's also the inside here is rubberized. Right. I don't know here. Hold on, let's do this. Um. So it's rubberized, but it also kind of kind of goes out. It's got this outward yep. slope to help hold everything in. These are ribbed. Um. Uh, it's really nice. Can you like, put the phone in at a tilt? Yes, yes, you indeed. You want that? You could tilt it up. Uh, I want to go over some things that yeah. Jangular missed on this blaster. Like, or he didn't miss, but he might might, might not have gone over in his review. So, uh, you know, you got the blaster itself. It's nice. It has haptic feedback, so it does do a little bit of recoil, which is why it's called recoil. So when you pull the trigger, pop, pop, pop. Uh, it is full auto. Um, the things that I wanted to talk about that I thought were pretty cool, right? Reload is on the bottom. You just slap that, which is pretty cool. It's it's a uh, yep. Nice. Reminiscent of some of the the previous laser tag stuff. Yep. It's very very intuitive. Uh, this this uh, phone mount, by the way, you can swap it to either side. I like it on the other side. He likes it on that side. Um, one of the things that was cool, I haven't seen anybody really talk about, is it's got like these faux. Oh man, hold on, did I get this in here? So it's got these faux like uh, True Glow uh, like day daytime uh, fiber optic sights, yep. right? So if you hold it in the sun, they glow that color. Like they legit work. Right. Um, the other thing that's really dope is 
See this top here, it's got a screw here, screw on the side. You can actually adjust this rear sight up and down and side to side. Yeah. Like a like a real 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 steel a little bit. Alright. Um you got the rail right now, there's no rail accessories. I don't know if this is compatible with anything, I haven't checked it out. Push to talk button, I think Jangular went over, not very good right now. Hopefully Push talk is whack. In, the, in the app, but yep, it's whack. I mean you don't need it a whole heck of a lot. The other thing, I'm real surprised at Jangular for this one. He didn't he didn't pull this one out right down here. Then you might be thinking, oh, you want to put a little stock? No, that's a, that is an action cam mount. I think why, mm. why Jangular was, um, why he glossed over, because mm. he was so surprised by how much he liked it. Right, I mean, like, it's Super it's surprised. pretty clearly made for a uh, for a GoPro. Yep. I mean, I don't I don't know what all the compatibility GoPro stuff is. is. But yeah, the GoPro, oh man, it fits on here nice. Yep. It's sturdy. The other thing is all of the places where you got to screw stuff in, like the GoPro, like this guy, um, it's not – you're not, not just screwing it into the plastic. If you actually look in here, there's metal uh, threads. Yep. So you're screwing metal to metal. You're not going to worry about just over-tightening and, and breaking this stuff. Yep. Uh, yeah, that, those were the big things yeah. I thought that people missed. Yeah, I all think right. people were just so – I think the, for the Nerf reviewers – I think everybody was really Going surprised. last has an advantage. It really is. Because we get to watch everybody and be yeah. like, hey, well, how come you didn't talk about this? I think everybody has been so surprised. I, I think so too. Like, yo, this is all right. Yeah. Now, at the heart of this thing, let me talk about the next component. The most Do it. Do honestly, it. Be, so, the most important part of this whole set. Yes, yeah, so there's there's two of these in the starter kit. Two of those in the starter kit. We're looking at 130 to – 130. Well, one – uh, 115 to 130, depending on where you buy. Them. Right, Walmart's that's what the cheapest. Saying. Walmart's cheap. Um, uh, GameStop. If you find them at a GameStop, they, sometimes they come with a grenade, which is worth 15 bucks, which is kind of you a good can, deal. which you can buy uh, separately, which we did. We, we did. We, we have everything. We have everything. Everything we could get right now. So at the heart of this beast, besides your smartphone, so your yes. smartphone is a Wi-Fi hub, it's a portable, battery-powered Wi-Fi Direct unit, right? So your phones are all going to connect to this. This beams out an arena. In 250 feet in all directions, so basically 500 feet diameter. Um, when you get this, walk it off. You'd be surprised how far 250 actually is. Yeah, I was like, oh, it seems kind of small. And you start going, you're like, we oh, walked no. it. We were like, yo, all right, oh, we no. can mess with this. Yeah. Um, it, it, the other cool part is this flips up. Flips up. Oh yes, you like this. You know that's it for me. Tenna flips up. Tenna flips up. Also, it's so, so, so hold on. I don't. I don't know. Everybody else didn't mention this, but to me, this was just smart thinking on their part. This is just a handle. Yeah. And I know that seems obvious. You'd be surprised at how many places like the hub is like a little circle, and then you gotta like put it in a bag or do something like right. just being able to hold just that is stupidly it. intuitive. So it takes batteries on the bottom. It does take batteries, or it can be powered externally. Ho ho ho! Which means not only can you plug it in if you are at home, but if you got one of those nice phone chargers, you could plug it right now, into that. People have pointed out the, they wish the blasters were charging that way. I would say I would never want the blasters to only charge this way. If they did it dual charging like this, it'd be cool. Right, like a, like a uh, dual Xbox. Charging would work. Uh, yeah, uh, dual charging you know. would work. Battery power or that, that'd be fine. I never want them to charge one way. I mean, double A's. Are I think still you always to have get. to have the option of double A's if you're trying to yeah. kill to a casual market. Nope, true. which they are definitely trying. So to this do. is the this is the the thing that connects everybody, and then the smartphone, um, the app connects and gives you all your augmented reality experience. Right. Yes. You want to turn airplane mode on, so you want to make sure your mobile connection's not there, so your text messages don't interrupt the game, freeze the app, whatever, whatever. And the app does a great job of walking you through all this, right? Does. You download Very the intuitive. app, you start it up, it's like, hey, turn on airplane mode. Yep. Now go in and turn on Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. They want airplane mode on so you don't get some random messages that are just going to, you know, disrupt your gameplay. Whoever did it obviously applies hey, to the, Ki the KISS University, mm -hmm. which is keep it simple, stupid. Um, easy to walk through, easy to set up. Um, you know, your mileage will vary depending on your model. If you have a really old smartphone, it may not be compatible. It's true. Anything made in the last three, four years is fine so far. Yeah, so um, far we haven't had any real Android, problems. Like Android uh, Nougat, no, not Nougat, uh, Android whatever it was seven years ago. Yeah, yeah, Probably yeah. won't work. Um, so okay. we've only seen a Note 3 not work. That's the oldest phone we've tried. Yes, that is the oldest phone we've tried. Um, so you get your augmented reality set up now. Outdoors is the only mode available right now. There will be an indoor setting coming. Yes. we don't. So, so here's the sort of speculation because I don't think there's anything official on this, right? right. Uh, there's skirmish and team skirmish, yep. like skirmish free for all. Team skirmish is not. You can set up the app to have, uh, you know, 15 minutes, 10 minutes, two minutes, three minutes, uh, and then you can go lives. So like you can do do it by points. So you you got yep. a little bit of variation of there. Um, the app allows you to do team or free for all. Yep. So this is where it gets really good. This is where it appeals to me as as somebody who's admin games before. 
because I don't have to worry about people calling hits. I don't have to worry about cleanup. I don't have to worry about going through most of the things because it leads you through all the stuff. It's like, all right, connect in, join. All I got to do is host the game. Yep. And it, like I said, it's so good about leading you through it. Um, there are a couple things that it does that just make it phenomenal. And that is stuff like if you don't have a blaster, you can still join. You won't. You can't get shot at, so you can't shoot anybody back. But you can still assist your team. You can be a healer, you right? You have a you have like a heal button, and it has a cooldown, so and you can heal people. Landmines, you could like, right? I think you could drop landmines. I you we, can we play support. Play, you can play. Support. You play a support role. Overwatch on on the regular phone when you're playing. You can switch uh, to a map that's interactive, so it'll show you where enemies are. It'll show you where friends, yep. friendlies are. It'll drop random things, so more ammo because you run out of ammo in this. It'll drop crates that have life or different weapons. Ammo. Like there's a biological weapon. Yeah. There's a, a there's a uh, there's a airstrike. Yep. There are landmines, and then you can choose to drop the landmine where you are, or you can do stuff like I'm gonna call in this airstrike, and you choose the person on your phone, and it'll tell them incoming airstrike, get out of the the blast radius. Right. It, it, it pegs pegs their last GPS approximate GPS location as the. So you want to have a SIM card in your phone. Um, even if it's deactive, no, you don't need it. You don't need a SIM. Need SIM card. That phone that we were rocking, that uh, Jang was rocking, did not have one. I thought they said in the manual you needed though. They Maybe I don't know. All I know is, so I rocked the phone. We rocked one blaster that did not have anything in it. Okay, so we took everything out, but we just turned on um, GPS. Now maybe it was a little funky with the GPS. I don't know. But yeah, I don't think so. I think I think, you, I, think it need, I think to for as for assisted GPS you should have a SIM. But anyways, play with it without it. Either way, you can get a burnt SIM. Right. Or yeah. A non-working sim, I mean. Yeah, yeah. But yeah. you turn off, you turn off your um. When you turn on airplane mode, you got to turn back on your Wi-Fi and back on your back, Bluetooth. Or, or if you know how to use your phone, and this is where they, they probably didn't do this because most people don't know how to do this. Go into your mobile networks and turn off your mobile network. It's the same. Yeah, thing. you can do that too. Turn off your mobile network. That's anyways. really all they're trying to get you to do. So, so you connect so to the app. interrupt the app, right? So, anyways, so grab the uh, the big oh. boy. Yep. We play a game. We bought. We picked up the uh, rifle. Yes, indeed. Which. Higher damage, longer range, same rate of fire. Um, really, no downside to the rifle except that it's hard to when you're running. It's easier to see. Because you could. There's two things. It's a little bit bigger. Yep. Right. These batteries. So this whole thing unscrews and you put it in. For yeah. some reason, I had a heck of a time screwing this back on. Yeah. No. Might have just been that. me. Button. Um, if you're right-handed, the off button's on the inside. So this is the button that turns it on. Yes. You don't hit this during Whoop. gameplay because it'll disconnect. Yeah, we had that happen. Um, oops, and I turned it on right now. Um, they are full auto. Yeah, full auto. The range is way better. So the one thing uh, about the the pistol has this push to talk on the back, so you can just hit it with your thumb no matter which way you're rocking it. With the rifle, and I mean this isn't a big deal right now since push to talk is poop. Yep. But the push to talk button is only on the uh, right hand side, not on the left. Yeah, I mean you'll lose a different finger. I actually like right. the placement of it though. I mean, yeah, you could still hit it if you're going left. I it's like still, the placement of it. I like that the placement is there. I actually off. wish that the the on and off button was up here, yep. so That'd that you wouldn't better. you wouldn't potentially yep. hit it. That's about my only gripe. The oh, rifle retails thing. for seventy bucks. The pistols without the pistols in individual form retail for about fifty bucks. Yes. Um, so far, we've only found the rifle at Toys R Us. Yes, I've only seen the rifle at Toys R Us. Uh, the starter kits are everywhere. everywhere. I mean, Best Tar Buy has them. Tar Best Buy, GameStop, Toys R Us, Target, Walmart, um, Walmart, and did you say GameStop already? GameStop, yeah. Yeah. Um, so they're pretty the, the single blasters, I think, almost everywhere has as well. Yep. I've seen them at all those places. Uh, the other thing we almost forgot to mention. So the bottom of each of these blasters has a headphone little hole. It looks like a little headphone jack. It on, does. On the bottom here. Right? And although you can use headphones with this, this is not where you plug them in. You plug in this nice little sensor. I don't know if it's nice, but I, I think it's okay for what it is. Uh, this is just a sensor that you're supposed to put on the back here. They say pocket or anywhere so that basically if you're turned around, you can still yeah. get shot. It seems you. to work best in the top of the collar. I, I put it in the top of the collar. I just run this through like the bottom of my shirt so it's not yep. – so I don't you know, pull at it when I'm uh, running sure. around. Uh, I, I think it's fine. And roll. It's much better than having to wear like a whole freaking right. jacket like if you used to have to do. If you're hardcore, parkour, I guess someone says that. Yes. Then – It could be a thing. Yeah, it could be a thing. That, mm, now, I highly recommend also using headphones with this. Uh, you just plug them into your phone, and it gives you the direction of if fire is coming from one side or the other. Now, the app will tell you that you should plug in wired headphones. It's a myth. We tried it with his Plantronics um, dual ear Bluetooth headphones. We tried it with my Backbeats um, headphones. Works perfectly fine. Excellent. Excellent. So it will still connect it to the phone, and now your battery in your phone may drain faster. That is very possible. But the batteries on the blaster will probably run out before your phone battery. That's, I'm pretty sure that's. 
that's how it's right yeah. now. So, but put put some uh, back beats in or whatever your music of choice. Yeah. Especially the ones that go over the back of your ear so they stay in. Yes. And you're wireless and you're free. Then you only got to worry about the one wire, which is great. Yep. So. You can keep talking. Okay, swing. Sway. Sway. Shway. Are we still doing swing? Swing, sure. Why it's not? It's been so long since I've been on a podcast. Swing, so thing. Swing, sure. Swing. We'll, we'll call okay, it. Okay. Anyways, so, um, I don't know. The last, know. the last piece for this. So you've already got a pistol out, a rifle out, Wi-Fi hub. You're already using your phone. Which, listen, I've been wanting for Nerf for so long to do something like this, mm-hmm. but it's hard, right? Because you're using physical bullet or physical ammo. So not unless they create a force field, it's kind of rough, right? Right. Then they go and. Give us this. This is a grenade. Yep. Not to be confused with a grenade. It's a grenade. Got to change it to it's just not. It's totally not say that. It says grenade. It's grenade. It doesn't for, say. There's no two. Grito shot first. It's crazy. Um, so. This is. Yo, this thing is. Mu- I this didn't think it was gonna dope. be good. It's pretty awesome. Now we haven't actually got one to hit in a game yet. No, because as soon as people see it, they bounce. They right. Buku out. So. It's covered in rubber, so feel free to roll it, throw it, whatever, whatever. We And um, we're throwing this on concrete. It's got lights all around it, so when it blasts. So no matter what way it lands, it's yeah, always yeah. going to have some blasts. It's got a little belt direction. clip on the back. I, I, I pr- like that. It, it, inter- it interferes with rolling a little bit, but I actually appreciate this. You put it on a bandolier yeah, on a bunch solid. of them. Now, before you use it, if you want to get credit for the damage, you got to put it next to your blaster, press the button, sync it up. It'll The... the this will tell you. This was honestly the most confusing thing that we had. And as soon as we figured it out, it was really easy. You hold it down. Yep. So unlike everything else, when you start these up, you just push the button and it'll start up. Yep. All right. With this guy, because it sw- switches and swaps teams, whoever picks one up, like if I throw right. it down, he can pick it up. You got to hold the button down. It'll start blinking and your phone will tell you grenade, grenade assigned. assigned to you. Yep. It'll Sorry say grenade that. assigned. Um, now, I don't know if I would do it right next to everybody else because it may – Right. Possible that it could assign. We haven't had it assigned to somebody else. Actually, we have. We've had it dual assigned. No, it assigned to you, not me. Oh, did? Okay. Yeah, it just didn't assign to you. So um, we were right next to each other. Um, you know, it, yeah. but this is this is this is freaking so once alpha it, launch. So once it's it's blinking, you let go. It'll say grenade assigned. It'll it'll turn back off again. Yep. And it tells you push the button to arm it to arm the grenade. It goes on to a ten second timer. Ten second timer. And then it explodes. Everybody within ten feet, I think. Right. So you want to let it radius. cook a little bit. Yeah, we learned that you gotta let it cook because if you don't, people are gonna be able to run away within that ten seconds. Right. So it's you know it's like a real grenade. You gotta gotta give it a little. Well, and it, of all the stuff here, this is probably the most flawed unit as far True. as the way it works and you know wonkiness. Yeah. Here's the thing though, look at compared to the other you know the other hobby we play right with Nerf. Right. There's no such thing as a Nerf grenade except right. for a foam thing that you throw at people. That is not a grenade. That is a rock. Right, and here's the thing: a lot of people will run some grenade rules, like oh, you throw it and then it hits, and within 15 yeah, I gotta feet, manage all the that. problem is yes. Yeah, so that's what I hate about that. Yeah, I manage all that. If I have to figure it out, and people are like, oh, I'm within 10, not 15, or whatever, yeah, 20 it's feet, just, it's too much work for it, me. It is too much work. That's how I. That's how I. So, so I this never takes do out all. Stuff. This takes out all that work, right? So, which so when you take out all the admin stuff, right? You remove special rules. You remove picking up darts. You remove hitting. Right. You can get in. 30 minutes of almost straight gameplay. Three minute rounds, five minute rounds. Like you can you can just rock it. Right? I mean, you go back in, everybody quick. sings. Other thing we didn't mention. So when you get ready, wherever you are when the timer goes off is your respawn point. Yes. So respawn points are not static. Yes. They can yeah, be yeah. all over the place. Yeah, you could start over here and your buddy when on your it, team when can you start die, over there. The GPS points you to run back to your punk respawn point. Yep. So you gotta pick a good spot that you're gonna respawn at. Um the, the game hub also is really, really easy. Once everybody's yeah. in, um, it just gives you a list of teams. Yep. Or, or, I mean, if you're not teams, I guess it doesn't matter. It just shows a list of people. But uh, once you have it, you can just drag people to one team to the other back and forth. Yep. And it is super quick and super easy. Yep. We were getting game startup. Once we sync everything, now you got to pair everything. You sync it to your phone. Once you've already got it set up on your phone, you hit a quick connect. Everyone connects to the Wi-Fi hub. You know, like I said, different phone. We talk, what, phones have settings. They walk you through what to hit and what not to hit. Yeah. You might have to play with your settings. But once you're connected, once you've saved the Wi-Fi network, got the Bluetooth, which is probably a 15-minute setup. Yeah. Same. Now you're ready to just push buttons and play. Right. Once you're in, you're playing constantly. The only hiccup we had is when the Wi-Fi unit's battery started kind of dying, copping out, yeah. the app would freeze up. Yeah. Right? We think it's the Wi-Fi battery. We played a bunch of games in a row perfectly fine. Yeah. 
um, like the last one we did, we got like halfway game, through and yeah, then it started it dying. Up, right. Um, I mean, that's, there's various things, right? It could have been an app thing. It could have, it could sure. be the Wi-Fi yeah. hub. It could be that's the, the difference between this and Nerf is that you you are limited by the technology. Sure, but we stop Nerf for people holding, for right? Inju- like so, so, the, so the only downsides that you that I can really see about this that people could complain about. I mean, I'm sure there's a lot of stuff, right? You got the phone, you got stuff. It's expensive, but I'm talking about like from a pure gameplay perspective, is you're maxing out at 16 players, yeah. which. For, honestly, I think most people that's not going to be too big of a deal. No, um, you can you can only have 500 feet, which again for most people I don't think it's going to be a big deal. Some people might be like, "Well, I want to play much longer sure. than and that." This is, this that's is, totally legit. It's totally legit complaint. Yep. If if that's the way you play, this isn't for you. But this opens up things. So Jangular has been trying to do this foam loop, right? Five v five, and he's doing a. The, I mean, he's doing a, he's doing the Lord's work. Yeah, he's trying to manage people and equipment. This is really set up. To do something like that, yeah. I go get a spot. I put my Wi-Fi hub out. We get our teams. Right. You don't we have, have the, to. We have the same equipment, yep. right? We have access to the same stuff, and we go fight it out, skill versus skill. Right, and you don't have to blow a whistle to start the game. Nope. You don't have to. No. Nope. Anything you do, it's all in the. So app. you you play more. This allows right. you to if you're in it for the running and the, and all that stuff, you play more. Right. Right. That's the, really the essence of this setup versus Nerf. And again, this is not saying Nerf isn't awesome. Nerf is amazing. Oh, Nerf is absolutely amazing. I mean, we bought a van. Yeah. We made a cart for um, whatever that game is. Halo. Halo. We made a cart. A cart. Jang- Jangler has a video up yeah. of our Nerf cart that we awesome. made. We've gone. We've taken it really far. Yeah. But with all that stuff you add, it just adds a lot more admin work. I mean, we're, we're probably spending on the average five-hour Nerf day – an hour and 45 minutes of that set up, tear down, and management. Easily, yeah. Easily. Easily. And then you got to herd cats, you know, depending on who's there. Right. And then you got to get people ready, and then they got to go back and reload. Like, even the game, in, when, when we take breaks, right. you got to pick up darts. That takes about 10 minutes. You got to reload and all this stuff. Yes. And if you just want to go play, right. this is the thing to go play. This is, to me, is like the ultimate thing for casuals. Yes. This yes. is casual now, friendly. Now, again, one of the other things is right now, there's only – Skirmish and team skirmish. Yeah. Now, it would be cool, and I think that one of the things that they would are likely working on is more gameplay modes. Sure. For the app, but I mean, you know, you got to start out with some stuff. Right. Uh, it would be great to see like a King of the Hill or Capture the Flag type scenarios. Sure. That'd be cool. Um, but if you want to play that stuff, you can't with this game. So if, again, if that's your jam, you can still play King of the Hill. You so you could. You just have to set it up. You do team skirmish and put out three timers. It right, right. Be virtual. That's what I'm saying. You you can't virtualize. You some can't of the virtualize. Stuff. Same with yeah. same with capture the flag. You do capture the flag too. Yep, you could. Um, you know, it's just timed. Yep. It, so you could still do. You could still use this in addition to yep. a lot of nerfs. You could. This is so again, for me. Um, this was a breath of fresh air. I yeah. played laser tag as a kid. I've never got back into it. I really thought the phone integration into laser tag is overdue. Yeah, and we saw some of it before in Eltar, but it wasn't great. Yeah, this is way this is way better. augmented reality. This is this is where it's supposed to be. This is the beginning. Yes. This is the now. Speaking of augmented reality, that's supposedly what is coming. Coming for indoor, right? So there's a there's an option that says coming soon that says indoor, and from a lot of the speculation is that it will be full AR. Like you can look at your phone yep. and it'll show stuff. Like if there's a drop box of ammo, you'll see it on the ground, right? And you'll go grab it. Yep. Whereas right now. There's, there's a couple it, – it just shows like a little arrow pointing different directions. Sure. Or you can flip it to a map where it will show like a radar yep. type overview, which I still like. I think that's great for outdoor that's play. What we have now. The augmented reality thing is neat, but for me, like unless you're playing at home, it's probably not going to be a big deal. Yep. Right? I, I'm, not, I'm not into it for the AR, and honestly, it will drain the heck out of your battery because you're going to have your camera going and your screen's going to be on in full brightness and all that. And that's not what I'm about. I really like the way it's set up right now. If I have to, I'll strap a battery on the side of this goddamn blaster. Yeah, I mean, get my max, man. So I do it. I did it to Nerf blasters for the cameras. Sure, I mean, it's very possible. Just smack a battery on the side of this thing, you'd be good. Don't, yeah, you know what? Most people, uh, listen. If you got a janky smartphone, that's on you. Sorry. Fair enough. That's mean. Fair enough. That's the one percent talking to me. Um, not even the one percent. Everybody got smartphones. That's true. But, but if you can pick saying. up a side smartphone to just use for this. Right, like, but I mean, it's gonna be hard, like outdoors yeah. and stuff. And AR seeing. outdoors is gonna be rough. Right, I mean, AR indoors, indoors would be cool. is cool, um, but again, you know, so, you've got those problems. So you open up to so many gameplay modes, um, you know, for this mostly positives. I think you know, there's obviously it's it's not the same. So I, 
they are definitely competing with their competitors for some similar crossover. Yeah. But I see this more casual slash league like pickup basketball game. This yeah. is how I see this. Yeah. This is like a pickup basketball. Like you got a you got a page like a Facebook page or like a right. Group yo, we get text. a recoil. Group. Hey, we're gonna do a recoil tonight. And here's the other cool thing. So we, the 16 player limit is there. Yep. But with the games being so fast and setup time being nothing, you could rotate teams. You could harder or, nerf. I mean, depending on where you are, you just get two two going at the same time. Different. Yeah. Thing. So you can't. You put multiple Wi-Fi units out. They can't cross over. Right. That doesn't cross work over. yet. Yeah, I mean, they're not saying it's not going to happen. I mean, they can't string these things together. Yes, um, that would be really cool. Really impressed with the Wi-Fi hub. Super impressed. Like, I think that's what changes it because everybody else was still everything was contained on the blaster, right. blaster to blaster. Having a tagging. virtual arena really makes the game. This is more casual slash competitive. Right. Like it's definitely good for casuals, but you can run some comp. Now, there are the wonky things from my perspective. Okay. Shooting at close range. That's super wonky. Yeah, I mean, these things aren't super dialed, right? So if I shoot you and you're kind of off to my left over here, like if I'm here, but you're here, I'm probably going to get a, I probably get a hit. Right. Sometimes. When you're within like 30 ish feet. Yeah, when you're you close. Know? But the thing is, these are shooting the pistols at like 100 something feet. Yeah. And the, the rifle's like 200, 200 feet. Yeah. Uh, there's no reason for you to get that close. Uh, if you do. You're probably going to be chucking some grenades at people and stuff right. like that. Right. So that's just that's just so when people try it, I don't want you to be like, oh my god, bear so nearby, to, bear mm. nearby to us. It, listen, there is some accuracy issues, right? That are inherent. Now, if you weren't playing modified nerf, right, you'd have the same accuracy problem. Except instead of hitting in general, you would miss in general. Yeah, that's true. So that's a trade-off, right? But you won't notice it yeah. because you're having, you're having a good time. That was us, man. We were just we so were much killing fun. it out there. So much fun. We were running back and forth. We were in a Target parking lot. Target had lights up. But that's the other thing, too. You, you A lot of nerfs determine where are we going to play. We want to go to the same field because we know they like us there. Yo, yeah. this is roll up, set up, play, get in, get out, gone, peace. Right. That's my whole thing. Like, we could get five, six games in, in like, like depending on how long you want to play, like a, a, a round is, you know, an hour. Yo, we could get, two? We could get five games in, yeah. like six games. Go for pizza in between or from refreshments and then go play at another place. Right. Like, it's it's just super easy. The setup is so easy. Setup, so the only other thing I don't particularly like, the wire thing, definitely, it's there. It is. It could be limiting depending on how you want to play, mm-hmm, right? Mm-hmm. The wire thing to the back, I understand the need for it. It is, Listen, sometimes oh, things are necessary. That reminds me. Because nobody else has reported on this. You want to grab that other one? The other, uh, so we got a starter set. Oh, yeah, this one. And our good buddy, because he's uh, he's always he always supports us in whatever we yeah, do. Even if he'll he always buy in. Jangle McJangleton's. Yes. So so you know we told you about this right plug there. right here. No, oh, there we go. There you go. Put it Boom. Right so this so plug, my, my my complaint was this plug right. I'm like, it's all right if you spin it this way. It's okay. Um, this is the starter kit. So, Jang. Being a, a glorious and supporting friend, bought one by itself, not in a starter kit. There's they've already fixed it. They've already gone like Gen two. I don't know if these are only available singles or if the other ones in the uh, in the dual starter pack are gonna have this. But like now it fits in and it's nice and flush. You don't have to worry about this thing sticking out all wonky. Right. I'm loving it. Loving it. So, so just throwing that out there because nobody else seemed to report on that. I think that this was more of a because everybody else was sent some free stuff. That they probably got some first models, and I think that this is now probably what they're going to be using going forward. We know why we wouldn't send free stuff. Josh had just started putting up videos recently. It's been a minute. It's true. It's been a minute. It's been a minute. It had been a minute. So forget. You know what? I'm glad I got the purchase experience. And I agree. You know they want to. You want to kick us some. You know whatever in the future. You want to test some stuff out? We'll help you. But I'm glad I got to get it from that visceral. Like I bought this. I feel like my purchase was successful. Um, So starter pack 130. um, uh, Rifle 70. Grenade 15. And you may say, but but BFU, uh, it's so expensive compared to Nerf. I will tell you, BS. The rival line has turned Nerf on its head. That's the top of the Nerf line right now, out of the box. Like rival is the top line out of the box. You yeah. know, out of the box blasters. Yeah. That's it. Or the new uh, regulator, sixty bucks. Right. This is right in line with that high teen, young adult, old adult player. Right. And it's right in that price point. And so, if you think about it, even if you're going cheap, because I I know we're going to, but you can buy a Stripe for twenty dollars, and those are pretty good. 
You're not wrong. But what else you got to get with the stripe? You got to get a couple mags. You got to right? get a way to power it. You got you got to get you some gotta batteries. It. You got to get some new motors. Right. That's, that's Even just... if you're playing stock, by the time you get a strife and a few magazines and buy darts, you already have. Are you looking at bucks. right so, fifty bucks? You listen, can get these for, trust, for forty. Us, trust us, we are conscious of your dollar. Yeah, despite us not caring about our own. But this is not. This is not incompatible with the amount you're going to spend to play the Nerf hobby as it is today, unless you're an all stock horse. Yeah, I mean, think if about you're it. An all stock horse, do your thing. They've got straight up hundred dollar off the shelf blasters these days. Mm, I own one. The That's insane. The Nemesis is not cheap. Right, so I mean, this is obviously geared at a different level than your stock Nerf blaster yep. is, right? This is clearly a young adult toy and not Absolutely. like six year old. With the smartphone, the smart, right? You know, your smartphone's at risk. I guarantee you, people people got smartphones laying around the house that they put in a drawer. Fire that thing up, see if you can download the latest version of your OS that you can get, and try the app. If the app works, you're straight. straight. Yeah, because they use those old smartphones for instead of letting them be litter and trash and hurting the planet. True facts. See, so. Scale of one to ten, ten being absolutely perfect. Ooh, what is your judgment on the recoil? Uh, the world is now game. Uh, I would say it's a solid eight to eight point five. I think they knocked it out way, way better than I thought. So they were basically, you're one rival. Yeah, you're one rival. I mean, it's which is it's the highest almost, praise you're gonna get out of us. Which is all. It's pretty much almost everything that they they promised to deliver just by reading the package. I mean, I wasn't right. hyped beforehand because I didn't know it was even coming out. I just suddenly saw it on shelves. Yep. Um, but also in comparing it to what's come before. And not just what, what was available to people, but when you went to like a laser tag arena, you still got to put on like a giant vest and all you got this big old gun. Yep. Oh man, this is super streamlined. I like it a lot. I can understand if you're already running if, and you're used to running a laser tag league, like Tactical Tag has a bunch of people he's played right. laser tag with. They're used to some stuff. They're used to having to set everything up themselves sure. and go nerf style. And if you're into that and you already have that established, this might seem like a step back because you got to use phones, you got to do that stuff. But from an admin side coming directly from nerf, I'm I'm more excited for this as an admin probably than I am a player. Or or let me put it this way, I'm more excited because I feel like I can be more of a player while playing than I can in nerf because I have to admin so much. Right, if you're running a nerf game. And as the admin's friend and co-conspirator in most things nerf, um, we miss you, Anderson, because I had to pick up that slack, just so <laughs> we're aware. In case you watch these videos, chump. <laughs> you leaving, I had to collect the pieces. So anyways, All the time. as that co-conspirator, um, seeing him so happy because of the admin work made it more fun for me, and it made me like it even more than I thought I would. I'm like, yeah, this is fun. This is how I remember year one of Nerf when I didn't have to do anything. Right. I had two admins that were handling business for me. Right. It took me back to when I first enjoyed Nerf. Year like, one for me, year two for him. Like, but, all we did is get some stuff together and play, and, and I, it's, it, it's escalated so much. So, but here, you ain't got to do that. This is not going to. Plus, yeah. we're playing any weather. I mean, as long as, ah, they, as, long as they ain't raining crazy outside, like, I could be wearing a sweater. If, if it's East snowing, Coast, not that it happens here. My, but, my spot, my East Coast, is right. play laser tag in the snow. You, you ain't got to worry about. I remember days where, like, yo, we might have to cancel Nerf. It's windy. Like, them it's darts windy. is going to get squirrely. Oh, yeah, it's like, windy. Like, yo, dog, it's, it's squirrely true. darts. No windy, like, no windy. I didn't mm -mm, think about that. Ain't a problem. And, and cheap cover that doesn't blow. Cheap cover is now a thing. Like, you could just throw up some cover. Like, it's it doesn't even matter. Like this yeah, You is, just pop this thing out anywhere. You could play at night. That's the good. other thing. I mean, I mean, not that we haven't played Nerf at night before, this but it's always so kind of rough. You're like, I got to clean up these darts or I'm going to get in trouble. Right, right, right. Right? This is just boom, bang, done. You could get in, get out. Like, that's why I said, for me... I was looking at if I run a Nerf event, it's gonna take me all day. Like, I just gotta set a day aside because I gotta set yeah, up, do, do all the stuff, blah blah blah. Two hours, one hour, yeah, half I an could, hour. I could do this and go do something else. We after. rock this. We rock this. Aside from getting it set up for the first time, you yeah. know, if you had people that already had a phone with all the, the apps downloaded and stuff on it, Dude, we could have we could have met, showed up, played like, for half an hour, and it was like it was like playing two solid King of the Hill games. At this is like pickup basketball. It really is. It just is. It really it is. is. Folks. Um, so he's an eight and a half. Uh, I'm gonna, for once, agree with him. Usually we have different ratings. I'm gonna give it an eight and a half. Uh, easy he, because it's so good the first time, and you know I like the use of the technology. The smartphone integration is for a first time try. It's right. It's really good. Can I nitpick it to death? Absolutely. I can nitpick a lot of smartphone stuff to sure. death. Sure. But it's really good. Yeah, it's surprisingly. Like, it's surprisingly. Fun. It's surprisingly really really well done i implore you to go buy this give it a try 
if you guys want proof, we'll do a video showing our receipts. We paid for this. Yeah, we really this did. This is us. We spent hundreds of dollars to set this up. Go buy this. Support this company so they can grow and continue to give us more products. That's a thing. Yeah, I would love I to see. I want a sleeper rifle. So that was honestly one of my biggest uh, drawbacks was that the rifle has there's no downside. There's no downside. There's no downside. Right, it has the same rate of fire as the pistol, which is full yeah. auto, by the way. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. But it shoots further. Yeah. And it holds more ammo. And it and it does more damage. And it does more damage. I would. You know what would have been a good downside if they made the um the target spot on the rifle mm -hmm. like half a panel on both sides bigger i don't even think that, i think that they just need to make the rate of fire slower or do that you know something like that i mean it is a little bit more cumbersome but it's, there's not really a reason to there not needs run to be a it downside to the aside from the fact you got to spend 70 so when you guys it. make this sneaper rifle yes make sure it shoots mad slow but it shoots mad far right and does like mad damage right so right i would love to see shotgun. a pistol that does that's like a single shot like a magnum that does more damage because that's the thing like you can, right. you can now rock that like i've got a specialty class where all i do is i rock this this thing that does a lot of damage, yeah. but I gotta get a little bit closer. Yeah, you could do that sort get of thing. Land, with this make game. some landmines. I hope you guys, you know, what's the name of the company? Oh, it's a. Uh, oh, is it Skyrocket or something like that? Skyrocket. Yeah, I think it's Skyrocket. They they've actually done. They're they're known for, I believe, doing. Uh, um, uh, uh, what are they called? I keep wanting to say droids. Uh, drones. Oh, drones. Okay. Uh, Skyrocket. Yo, I think it's Skyrocket. Yo, y'all hit it out the park, man. Um, Fully support this product. This product's an A plus. Yes, right, right. There we go. A B according to us, but A plus first effort. Um, so yes, I mean, hold on. Let's not let's not get this twisted. You go back and nerf. It's not like Nerf's first product was just knocking nah. it out of the park. But I see this like Nerf rival. Like this is well thought out. This isn't the first laser tag set. They've right. obviously built up on the shoulders of uh, normal sized people because laser tags not giants. But right. This, oh, oh, there we go. Oh, there we go. We're good. Okay. So this has been built. This has been building upon what Laser Tag has done before, and other Laser Tag companies. It gave you the extra thing with the virtual arena that wasn't there before, and the AR and the integration with your smartphone that really made it feel like a physical video game, which is just short of virtual reality. So like we're, we're right short of that, yep. and that's the spot to play in. Make some leagues, go have some fun, start some Facebook group, invite us to some games if you're in the San Jose area. We may show up. Hit a little record. We'll come say what's up with you. Boom. I know we're not that famous. We're not even a little famous. But I'll still say what's up with you. Bam. Hit you up. Say what's up to your people. Get on Facebook. Give us them likes. Uh, I don't know. I'm rambling. Let's <laughs> just go crazy. 43 minutes. Yeah, love Yo, buy love this product, guys. man. Yo, buy this effing product. Agreed. Yo, Show Barry some and love. Nerf 2017 recall review. We back in the saddle. Mm. Deuces.